Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo County Corso. So, um, wanted to do a quick video for you guys on how I socialize my puppies with livestock, aka um, my chickens. Um, I apologize if my voice sounds hoarse. I lost my voice yesterday. I uh, haven't been feeling very well, but got some Tylenol in me, and um, I'm doing better. So I've got Sookie and two of the Blondie pups out. Um, and so, and I've got um, my chickens out. So, chick, chick. Chick, 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 chick. What's up, Savannah? Yeah. So anyway, um, Sookie. So I bring him over, let him introduce. So as soon as I start to see her paying uh, too close of attention, which she just was, um, I correct that energy. And, um, and I basically call the dog over to me. And the reason I do it before they've done anything wrong is because it's much easier to stop a behavior before it actually starts um, when you know it's going to start than it is to stop it once it's already begun. Um, and so dogs display some very specific behaviors whenever they want to go after something and they're very similar to predatory wolf behaviors and so what you'll see is direct um, eye focus and it'll be unwavering they will not want to take their eyes off of the object um, and you'll start to see whoop, 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 um, ears the ears will be forward and the body will go still the whole body tends to go still you might um, some dogs might have some tail wagging um, but the body for the most part will be still and you have that moment before typically they either do one of two things they're either going to um, spring into action they're going to run forward or they're going to start um, creeping forward in a um, predatory fashion a stalking fashion so if um, if you get onto the dog, as soon as they're displaying that super intense focus where, um, like I said, the eyes will be di uh, directed forward, unwavering, they're not going to want to look away, they're going to be laser focused in, and then, um, and then, uh, you can see the chickens are right there, it's kind of hard, there we go, so the chickens are right there, puppies are right here. Um, so you see, you see how he went still just there? See that? See how he got eyes focused, got still watching? All right, so he did good. Um, he, it's very important that you have a bond with this animal that they'll actually listen to you if you if you tell them to stop. Um, it's, it's good if they know their name. Suki, shh, Suki, Suki. See the stillness. Shh. Good girl, good girl. You praise them when they stop. Very important. Um, so he's been. Um, see, look at that. See, there we go. There's another one. See the stillness there. Watching stillness, stillness. Look at that. Tail up for him. And sometimes they display different behaviors. Look at that stillness. Watching, watching. And sometimes it's okay. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's just curiosity and then they'll move along and sometimes it's not. And you'll kind of learn the dog. Um, you'll kind of learn how they are. And then, um, and usually you'll see like when the animals move off, the prey animals. So um, in this instance, the chickens just took off. They're running over there. Um, it'll oftentimes trigger what we call prey drive in a dog, which is why people always tell you that if you're around a dog that you're unsure of and it hasn't 
you know, ran after you or anything like that, the worst thing you can do is run away because you could very well trigger an attack um, by triggering prey drive. But these guys are pretty chill. They don't have very high prey drive or they would have taken off after the chickens. Um, I would say that um, Sookie has higher prey drive than what than what my dogs normally do doesn't mean that um, that it's horrible but it is higher a lot of my dogs will simply ignore livestock but um, Suki has you know she's a rambunctious young girl and she will kind of chase um, my other female Zoe is similar to that um, she will also kind of give chase <clears throat> but you know, I just redirect the behavior. Now, let's just let's just say, for example, that you know, hey, uh, you were calling to the dog, and the dog didn't listen, and the dog took off after the the animal. So what you would do is, um, you would continue to call. Um, if the dog comes to you, um, you let them know. You put them in submissive posture, and you tell them they were bad. Yes, they've come to you. You called them, and they've come to you, and that's a good thing. But you don't want them thinking it's okay to chase and then as long as they come to you afterwards that that's okay. No, they need to come when they're called and they need to not chase your chickens and so, um, or your animals. And so I have very specific things that I say, like don't chase my chickens. Well, here we have, we have a dispute. Oh, uh, look at that. So the female came in and was like, hey, y'all need to chill out. Look at that. Good girl. She's like, y'all quit fighting. Y'all quit fighting over us. Yeah, my roosters have started to um, need to determine who's dominant and who's not. And um, I have a new coop on the way, so I know. Everyone's like, why are you doing this, Rachel, when you're moving? Well, I don't always make the most intelligent decisions. And buying this many chickens was one of them. <laughs> so, and I just don't feel comfortable selling them because... Um, they're unvaccinated and you know, you guys know that my chickens had Merricks and I just don't feel that it's that that you know that it's right to do that Because um, I don't you know, I just anyway, it is what it is. So um, Yeah, I like the chickens. It's sometimes you spend more on things than you logically should but sometimes it's just what you do I like the chickens. I ordered a new coop today. That way everybody has enough room um, so yeah, but, um, so it's okay, so let's say for example that, oh, look at, look at, look at that, look at that, look at those dominant boys, look at those dominant boys. So, um, so let's say for, like I said, for example, that the, that the, the dog went and they chased the chicken, right? And you've told them, hey, don't chase my chickens, okay? Um, and the dog does a little chasing and then comes up to you and he knows he's wrong. You know what he did. Maybe he doesn't, but you're fixing to let him know. And you put him in submissive posture and you tell them very firmly, um, you know, that what they did was wrong. Um, for me, what I'll tell them is, um, that's a bad dog. You don't chase my chickens, you know. And you don't have to hurt the dog. Um, you need to have the kind of voice inflection where... Um, as mothers will know, it's it's the tone. You have a tone that basically communicates that you are displeased, highly displeased, and that you will not tolerate that kind of behavior going forward. Um, that's the most important thing. And so, um, pretty boy. Look at that pretty boy. Pretty boy. And look at this guy here. Are you a pretty boy? Are you a pretty boy? <laughs> Sucky, where'd you get that? Where'd you get that, Sucky? Where'd you get that spatula? What's it doing out here? Sucky! Suck! Shh! Oh, it's also good and a good idea to have a sound. For me, I have my sound. Um... That's just actually my cat sound, but I'll be like, get out of that, you bad dog. What's that? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? So she's wagging her tail. Um, 
was trying to get some better. Let me see if I can get Sookie. Sookie, come on. Come on, girl. Come on, Sookie. Come on, Sookie. Good girl. So she's with me here. Good girl, Sookie. Come on. Let's see if we can get her by the chickens again. The other pups seemed fine. Sookie can be problematic around the chickens. So let's see how she does. Sookie. Come on. Yep, so she's ignoring them. They're right here. She's ignoring, so it's good. I've worked with her a lot, so I mean, it's one of those things where, um, where um, I've already kind of done most of the work, and so there's not a whole lot to see. But um, I'll show you guys. I know there's a lot of people interested in my chickens. I'm wearing a huge robe right now. Like I said, I wasn't feeling well. And um actually quite exhausted. Um, so there she is. Let's see what she does. So chicken just ran by her. Just took off running over there. She watched, but she didn't chase. Very good. I like to see that. Good. She's keeping a distance. I like this. This is really good. She, she was so bad, man. She used to try to chase the chickens around the coop. Um... It's just fun for her. It's not, I don't think it's predatory in nature. I haven't seen anything in her that um, would make me in any way feel that way. But um, but she does enjoy it. She thinks that it's fun. So um, That's Savannah's white chicken, Gilbert the rooster. That's what she calls him, Gilbert. Sookie! Where are you going? <whistles> Sookie! So Sookie's taking off. I'm gonna try to show you guys my um my big old Brahma rooster. I don't know where he's at right now. Here's one of them, but he's plucked. I don't know if you can see him, the the camera doesn't want to focus on that. But he's not I mean he's he's his tail feathers are plucked because he's not a dominant dude and let me see. What are you doing in the trees, chicken? What are you doing in the trees, chicken? Mm-hmm. Um, let's see, what do they got going on here? Oh, I got, need to clean up out here, I swear. We go through so much frickin' chicken feed, it's not even funny. So here's a bunch of Brahmas. Doing dirt bad. There he is, pretty boy. There's my pretty boy. Look at him. In all of his glory, he's such a pretty boy. He's a really pretty chicken. Huge. Pretty huge boy. Oh, there's Sookie. Look at her. Look at her. Sook. So you, so you got to interrupt the behavior. Do you see how she had her, how her, her eyes forward? Sookie. Sook. Yeah, so she kind of did it. So she took off uh, outside the trees, but she really was giving pursuit. She just, you, you can see, she just, she plays games. You know what I mean? It's not predatory. Um, she's just having having fun with them unfortunately which they don't like um and i don't like because it could escalate to a more serious behavior and that's what's that's the that's the thing so um i didn't really see her coming up Ooh, look at that we got a little a little tussle um sookie came in to be like hey you guys y'all need to chill out <laughs> Chiquito! <laughs> Chiquito, hello! Hello, sweet boy! Yes, hello, Ziggy. Oh, no, don't get the camera. I saw you too. I saw you too. Come here, Poopy! Come here, Chiquito! Chiquito! He's like, I don't know, man. That's a long walk. Come here. Come here. He's like, no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What a pretty boy. You're a pretty boy. 
Good boy. Good boy. What a good boy you are. What a good boy. Yes, good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Sookie, be gentle. Be gentle, Sookie. <clears throat> anyway, so keep in mind that, that it's, you know, it's a process. Um, and it's a process of socialization. You know, the... The, the pups need to be socialized with the livestock just as much as they need to be socialized with people. And you need to be building a, um, uh, a bunch of experiences where the pups are having healthy um, interactions with the livestock. So um, you want, it's not to say that you, you need perfection, but you do need to be consistently minimizing the amount of negative interactions that you're having um, with the livestock. So that means constantly getting them out there, giving corrections when necessary, and um, you know, really, you know, because a lot of it is um, obviously is, uh, really dude, you're gonna pull, whoa, you're strong. Pulling on my robe, you're pulling on my robe. Um, so a lot of it is just fascination with a new thing. So the more time they spend with the livestock, the less interesting the livestock will be. So long as you, um, so long as you, uh, teach them or you socialize them with it, um, in the right way. Cause then it could be interesting. I'm going to show you something I just saw. I spy with my little eye. A hairy caterpillar. When I was a kid, I found one of those and I put it on me. I let it crawl all over me and I basically had a red line everywhere that it had been and it burned really bad. So yeah, I don't, I don't, um, I don't advise it or recommend it. But, um, but anyway, but that's just kind of what I do. Um, you know, the chickens will get desensitized to the dogs as well as the, um, the dogs. And over time, as long as you're always getting on to them for negative behavior and they learn that there's nothing exciting about the livestock um, and they're not allowed to chase them because they'll get in trouble for that. So as long as they learn that, um, there, the fascination will end and, um, and you won't have the problems. Oh my God. Um, you won't have the issues. So, geez Louise, these two, these guys right here, these are a handful, especially this one here, man. Geez Louise. Really dude, do you mind? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, they're going to be a lot. Suki! Suck, 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 suck. Good girl. Good girl, Suki. Good girl. Good girl. You're excited. You're excited. Oh, Lord. So they had a, there was a little chicken scuffle over there, and the rooster came in. He was like, hey, nobody fights around these parts but me. Let me see if I can get it. Mm. Yeah. There's another scuffle of the puppy sort. <laughs> Suki's a good big sister. What are you guys up to? What are you up to, Sookie? Sook. Sookie! Mm, I had a hiccup. Sookie! What are you doing? You a good girl? Are you a good girl, Sookie? 
Mm, I have the hiccups. All right. Well, anyway, well, that's that's the first session of me uh, socializing, the, socializing these two young pups with the livestock. Sookie's already had some. Um, we've been working with her on it. But, um, you know, every now and then she has a moment of pure puppyish, puppyishness where she needs to give chase. Um, but overall, she's doing a lot better. It was, it used to be pretty bad. She would just run after them constantly. So she's doing pretty good. Um, I didn't feel the need to give her any kind of correction for the, for the little bit of chasing that she did. Um, it wasn't near what it was. She listened to me when I told her to stop. So, um, so anyway, some of that, some of her growth is really just going to come, it's really just going to come with maturity. Um, yeah, so the chickens are over there, and she was looking at them, but she's like, yeah, whatever. She's like, I'd rather pick on my my brothers. <laughs> yeah, as you can see here, she's super, just super playful. Sucky, Psh, so quit, chill out, quit it. She gets a little too amped up. I'm gonna give her a correction. Psh, sh, sh, mouth bite. Psh. Psh. Ouch. Psh. Nope. Yeah, that's right, Bonk. I'm holding her down. Sookie, no, quit. All right, she quit resisting. So I let her up. She could be a little much. Look at that structure. Structure. Can't talk, I can't sing. <laughs> but anyway, she got a little bit of a correction there. She's being a little too rough. And that's what I mean how she is with the chickens. She's just a little intense. And so, um, that can kind of come out with the chickens. She's a puppy, so I'm not going to do a full, you know, super submission with her. I just wanted her to hold still, just like her mother would do. Just hold still, stop resisting. Um, and then you can get up. And as you can see now, she's, she's not messing with the puppy. Her energy is better. She's sitting, chilling. Point was made. Anyway, well, I'm going to get inside, probably drink myself some hot tea. <sighs> um, man, I'm not feeling well. It's been a couple days now um, of me not feeling too hot. Sore throat for the last two days. The other days I was getting kind of achy at the end of the day. Today I kind of woke up achy. Um, but I think it's just allergies. Um, I can taste, you know what I mean? I don't, it's nothing, it doesn't seem like anything serious. Um, and it is the time of year for it, so it is what it is. But anyway, I'm gonna let y'all go, and hope you guys are having a good day. And I'll talk at you laters. Bye!